Hello everyone, welcome to Imprint IS. We're looking at the Economic Survey Volume 1 and this time we're looking at the chapter number 8. That is fragility in the NBFC sector. Right. And, uh, you know, in the recent uh, last one month, uh, we have a coronavirus, uh, the starting of the coronavirus epidemic or the pandemic, as they call it. Right. And I think this will even have a further worse impact on the fragility in the NBFC sector. Right. Uh, we'll talk about that. Uh, so, but before we start, uh, we'll talk about the two things that happened. Right. Uh, ILFS uh, defaults uh, that is the first one island if it's default right and that was this happened in july of 18 and the dhfl right uh which happened in uh 2019 july right so the, you know let's start with that so um let's look at the economic survey article this was uh, the editorial on the hindu right and it says uh, there's an unfounded uh, optimism on the economic forecast right everybody was uh three krishnamurti subhamanyam was talking about uh that you know real gdp will rebound to seven percent in this physical right and said that 2019 was a difficult year for the economy i think 2020 will even go worse right and uh, this year we're thinking that in terms of economy we're gonna hit uh, uh maybe three percent growth rate uh, if you think about it but anyhow let's uh, i think that three percent will also be a miracle uh richard gupta was giving an interview yesterday uh in the in, in india today group with uh, rajiv sardesai and he's saying that uh china will grow at one and a half two percent and uh, it will be a miracle if we don't contract right in some ways so the nbfc sector uh, was flagged the in the, by imf in january this year and it says that the physical uh, growth rate because of that will be less right um, that is 4.8 all right so but now uh, what the economic survey said that we should have a dynamic uh, health index right and this can be an early warning index uh, to avert incipient liquidity crisis or in the key credit providing sector right so that is the basic uh, that we have a dynamic health index uh, whether it would take uh, you know coronavirus into impact uh, that's something we'll try and talk about in the later in, the, in this video okay so first question what is the IL, IL and FS uh, crisis what is the infrastructure uh, company and why it has been uh, to be rescued this happened in uh, september of 18 right so let's start so one of the india's key uh, shadow banking uh, was in trouble there uh, ilfs was a is a vast conglomerate it funds infrastructure projects across the world's fastest growing economy that's india right uh, there is concern for private as well as other investors who actually regarded the ILFS debt as rock solid, right? And obviously the problem is that we required, uh, you know, we wanted to become a $5 trillion economy and without somebody as IL, solid as ILFS debt, it will be a problem, right? So what does ILFS, what is it? So it's more than 30 years of, years of you know, age, uh, infrastructure leasing and financial services limited. It says it has developed a website, uh, you know, project projects worth 1.8 trillion rupees that is 25 billion it has marquee developments such as the chinnani nashri tunnel right which is india's longest tunnel at nine kilometers right uh, then uh, this was one of the projects which was inaugurated by prime minister modi the company it described itself as the pioneer of ppps in india with a portfolio of 13100 kilometers of roads its shareholders are lic sbi japan's oryx group it has 169 subsidies and you know, that was the basic reason why it had so much problems. It is too complex for any watchdog credit ratings firm, right? Ashish Gupta, who wrote a, uh, a report from for Credit Suisse in 2012, the House of Debt, which actually talked about the, uh, you know, the financial crisis in the NPAs in India, right? Uh, he basically said that even he missed this, right? Because of the fact that it's not a listed firm, right? So one of the things which makes it very hard for it to be actually been, uh, so they basically, re you know, actually take debt. So what has, what did, what did it happen? It uh, actually sh sh runs short of cash. Interest rates have actually soared to multi-year high for short term borrowings. And this is happening even today, right? Uh, disputes are there 
uh, over contracts, over $19 billion rupees from payments which are due from the government. Uh, what happened was Rabi Patasarthi, who was the helm of the ILFS uh, empire since its inception, uh, stepped down uh, for health reasons in July. And uh, RBI did a special audit and uh, there were you know, some debt repayments of $500 million, and there were total debts worth $12.6 billion, uh, which obviously uh, now RBI felt it's a problem. Right. Uh, so what happened? Uh, it, mixed, it missed some payments in late July of 18, which was on commercial paper or short-term unsecured debt. Com- right. So what is commercial paper? Commercial paper is a key component of money market mutual funds. Right. So what happens is that you know there's something like corporate bonds. So you know you you feel that okay, ILFS is very straight. You know, is a company working for the government in some ways. Uh, they'll always get the money. So you basically think okay. Okay, we, I can invest there, right? So uh, th- what happens is that when they actually miss payments, people now think like there's something wrong going on. Okay, so uh, now ILFS has made loans to its own units, companies on short-term borrowings, and it's defaulting, right? So there has been an impact, right? Uh, so repayment crisis is helping to stoke borrowing costs in India's credit market, with average yield on the corporate notes jumping to a high since 2015, right? So what happens when you default? Uh, the payment period, uh, you know, your interest rate goes high in the future raising of bonds, right? So this basically it's a huge problem because, you know, uh, the affordability of some of Prime Minister Modi's infrastructure projects, right, create you know has become cumbersome now. Uh, there are 20,000 kilometers of national highways and ring roads in 28 major cities in this financial year, and it's got investors worried about the leverage at other shadow banks. So what happens is ILFS is in trouble now. I think everybody is in trouble. So now I start thinking about other companies. So which other company would it actually impact, right? So it impacted the DHFL, right? So it, uh, you know, uh, it came out, this happened in 2019, right? July of 2019, then 2020, it's January. This is the headline from January. And it says DHFL diverted 12,773 crores to 79 companies through one lakh fictitious retail uh, invest in customers, that is. And this is according to the enforcement directorate. So uh, what happened? So on July of 14, uh, Jivan Housing Finance Company, one of the largest ones, reported a loss of 2,223 crores. And this was the fourth quarter of 18. And this was stacking uh, to the 134 profit that happened in the last year. So not surprisingly, uh, final year also showed a problem. A 1,000 crore loss was shown in the overall financial year. Net profit uh, right, uh, was announced of 1,240 crores in 18. All right, so in one year from a profit, you are in a loss. Still okay, I would still say you can actually, you had a profit last year, you have a loss this year, still profitable in some ways overall. But the, so company uh, now but has struggling, you know, what will happen, it is unable to you know raise new loans, right? And existing loans are turning into non-performing assets. Uh, the HFL gross NPAs have risen to 2.74% in the fourth quarter in the financial year against 096 in the quarter four of the 18. Okay, so this is what is. So what happened? Uh, remember, as we talked about the linkage between them, ILF, ILFS and uh, DHFL. So ILFL is contagion. So you people think, right, uh, if I, let's say I'm an investor in ILFS. So what I think, key investment, if ILFS has a problem, then then DHFL will be in DHFL. So this type of thing happens. So ILFS was, afflict, was found to be afflicted with a serious asset liability mismatch and performance resulted in many investors in the NBFC sector to hit pause and button for further fresh investment. Now this itself hits DHFL, right? Uh, it f- suffered uh, right as a result of declining investments and rising demands for meeting its obligations. Essentially, since September of last year, DHFL has been paying catch up on the financial ob- obligations, right? And there's no fresh money to coming on, right? So uh, Q4 of 19, uh, DHFL has 1.2 lakh crore of assets under management. It's a concern because biggest investors con hai DHFL mein, public sector banks and mutual funds, right? So DHFL is struggling to pay back. The loss would be spread across, across the financial world. So, big problem so nbfc crisis and and this will done even worse this year i'm telling you the coronavirus uh, is impacting the you know dhfl like nbfc's a lot more than it would ever impact uh, somebody like yes bank right 
okay so summary uh, let's now start the chapter right what does chapter talk about right we briefly introduced so following a default by subsidies of the i infrastructure leasing and finance services and divan housing finance limited so in liquid debt mutual funds theek hai na so ye kya karte hain ldmf bolte hain ldmfs basically they ran collectively to reinvention so agar inme problem ho rahi to lag raha hai ki har jagah hi ho rahi hogi so itse kya hua it triggered panic Uh, uh, across the entire gamut of NBFC finances, अब liquidity crunch आ गया चाहिए आपके पास पैसे हों भी तो आप भेज नहीं सकते हो ठीक है ना problem ये आ गया सब लोग मांगना start करते हैं so bank run it's like a similar to a bank run right let's say मेरे पास एक हजार करोड़ थे और मैं मैंने invest कर रखे हैं कहीं पे मैंने आपसे लिए थे and I said that I'll pay you some kind of interest let's say eight percent right x y z right there's so many of you now I you all say नहीं नहीं मुझे अभी आज वापस कर दो पैसा इंटरेस्ट नहीं चाहिए वट एवर यू माइट से राइट समथिंग लाइक ना तो प्रॉब्लम इज आई ऑलवेज इन्वेस्टेड समवेयर आई कैन गेट सम मनी बैक सो आई एम लेट्स से गेटिंग 10 करोड़ अ मंथ बैक एंड आई एम पेइंग इंटरेस्ट यूजिंग दैट राइट बट आई माइट नॉट बी एबल टू पे बैक पे यू बैक वेरी क्विकली राइट सो व्हाट वुड आई डू शुड आई सेल द एसेट सो व्हाट वुड आई डू एक्चुअली आई वुड रेज सम आई नीड टू गो टू सम जेड एंड आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क मनी फ्रॉम हिम बट इफ जेड डजंट एग्जिस्ट देन आई कैनॉट पे एक्स एंड वाई सो दैट्स अ प्रॉब्लम Okay, so that is how this is happening. So this and uh, chapter highlights the problem faced by the NBFC stemming from the over dependence on short term wholesale funding. So ये ना short term है. So this eight percent मैं normally बोलता हूँ कि एक year का है period है या two year period है या five year period है इससे ज़्यादा नहीं है. And sometimes वो six months या one month भी होता है. ठीक है ना? So that is the problem. So such reliance works well in good times, but generates significant risks to NBFCs to roll over short-term funding during time of stress. So assets uh, side shock not only exacerbates the asset liability management, but also makes investors and LDM jittery, and thereby leads to redemption pressure that is akin to a bank run. So this run on LDMs then precipitates the for refinancing risk for NBFCs, further exacerbates the initial problems caused on the asset side. तो डायनेमिक हेल्थ इंडेक्स बना है उसको कैप्चर करेगा इस रिस्क को अर्ली वन वॉलिंग देगा एंड लिक्विडिटी क्राइसिस को ऑब्वियसली एंटिसिपेट करेगा पॉलिसी मेकर्स कैन यूज दिस अ टूल टू मॉनिटर और रेगुलेट एंड इवन अवर्ट फाइनेंशियल एनबीएससीज ठीक है ना राइट ये इस टाइप का आपको एक स्कोर टाइप दे देगा राइट सो सिमिलर टू आर स्कोर राइट वी ऑल्सो हैव अ इम्प्रिंट परफॉर्मेंस इंडेक्स स्कोर राइट सो इन द इम्प्रिंट परफॉर्मेंस इंडेक्स स्कोर वी वॉट यू से सो नंबर ऑफ hours you study right in a week if it is let's say going less than 40 so it's a problem okay then number of answers number of objective type questions so if it is less than 100 again it's a problem right objective type questions number of mains answers if it is less than then again a problem so some kind of health score index we also have created for your preparation in upsc so you can actually go through that and i think that would be a good idea so let's go So introduction. So liquidity crunch in the shadow banking system in India took space in the wake of default on loan obligations by major NBFCs. So two subsidies say ILFS ki unhone default kar diya payments ko June se September 18 ko. Then Divan Housing Finance Limited ne bhi same cheez ki in June to August 2019. So something is wrong in this quarter in some ways if you think about it. So both these entities defaulted on non-convertible debentures and commercial paper obligations for approximately 1500 to 1700 crores so in response what happens uh, mutual fund starting you know they said that okay we need to sell our investments in bfc sector to reduce our exposure so dsp mutual fund you know dhfl commercial paper worth 300 crore and a steep discount bech diya theek hai na unne basically secondary market mein bech diya kisi aur ko panic struck on investors thought that bhaiya yeah to safe nahi hai ab kya kare to bechna start karo so coinciding with news of ilfs and dfhl payments to a problem kya hui net outflow bahut zyada hua ldmfs and money markets so big stress aa gaya fir june 4 ko 2019 mein uh, kya hua tha net asset value debt funds which held debt instruments issued by stress and bfcs inki 53% ek din mein hua jab so look at this equity prices of stress and bfcs achana kitne gire biggest drop of 39 59% so the impact of default was on limited theek hai na jo sharp decline equity price so debt to chalo okay i am not able to raise that is fine but may some of us are listed also in the stock market to unki bhi share price kafi gir gayi right so both debt and equity investors of these companies nbfc companies suffered massive erosion in wealth due to defaults quantum of losses approximately 4000 crores they thinking right so that's a huge thing then 
अब हेल्थ स्कोर हमें देखते हैं सो इंडेक्स हमने एक डिवेल्प किया टू एस्टिमेट द फेजिलिटी ऑफ एनबीएफसी सेक्टर तो बेसिकली क्या क्या किया हमने हमने की ड्राइवर्स ले लिए तो क्या क्या लिए एसेट लाइबिलिटी मैनेजमेंट प्रॉब्लम चेकआउट की हमने सक्सेस रिलायंस ऑन शॉर्ट टर्म होलसेल फंडिंग कमर्शियल पेपर एंड बैलेंस शीट सेंट ऑफ एनबीएफसी इस इनसे हमने ड्राइवर्स दिए हैं उससे हम बेसिकली देख रहे हैं ठीक है ना राइट सो द हेल्थ स्कोर प्रोवाइड अ गुड डायग्नोस्टिक फॉर डूइंग दिस सो हेल्थ स्कोर में ऑफ एनबीएफसी एंड एचएफसी क्या आया सो फॉर द पोस्ट 2015 पीरियड एवरेज रिलायंस ऑन शॉर्ट टर्म होलसेल फंडिंग इंक्रीज डीपली बाय मोर देन 200% रिलेटिव टू प्री 2000 सो ये बहुत बड़ा इशू था कि व्हाट हैपेंस शॉर्ट टर्म रिलायंस है इसका क्या मतलब है ऑल टुगेदर आपको आप पैसे रेज कर पा रहे हो कहीं और से क्या रीजन है उसका डीमोनेटाइजेशन रीजन है इन सम वेस दूसरा है कि जो पब्लिक सेक्टर बैंक्स है ना वो उन्होंने इन्वेस्टमेंट कम कर दी है ठीक है ना राइट गिवन द लॉन्ग टर्म ड्यूरेशन ऑफ एसेट्स ऑफ स्ट्रेस एनबीएफसी सो ओवर डिपेंडेंस ऑन कमर्शियल पेपर फंडिंग इन यू नो क्रिएटेड एक्सपोजर टू फ्री फाइनेंसिंग रिस्क सो टर्निंग टू द हाउसिंग फाइनेंस कंपनीज इट इज फाउंड दैट एचएफसी में भी सेम प्रॉब्लम है डिक्लाइनिंग ट्रेंड आया सो लुक एट हेल्थ स्कोर ऑफ द एचएफसी सेक्टर हम ये कैलकुलेशन देख रहे हैं तो देखो बढ़िया 50 से ऊपर चल रहा है 50 से ऊपर वो सेफ होता है हम बोलते हैं अब थोड़ा सा कम हो गया बट फिर भी पॉजिटिव चल रहा है अब देखो मार्च ऑफ 18 एंड मार्च ऑफ 19 में कितना कम हो गया सो इट टेल्स यू की यू नो समथिंग इज गोइंग रॉन्ग हियर सो नाउ वन क्वेश्चंस व्हिच दिस कैन समथिंग व्हिच कैन कम इन प्रीलिम्स ऑफ 2020 राइट इवन 21 आई वुड से एन अदर यू नो other areas like uh, pcs uh, punjab civil services up pcs mp pcs etc so shadow banking system kya hai uska pooch sakte hain so shadow banking kya hota hai shadow banking comprises of a set of activities markets contracts and institutions that operate partially or fully outside traditional commercial banking sector or either are lightly regulated or not regulated so let's say aapka arthya right right or you can go to some lala and he can give you some money so money lending basically so shadow banking system we know obviously has been going on for centuries in india so shadow banking system ek entity nahi hota intermediates hote hain isme kafi multiple entities hoti hain uh, they do not have access to a central bank liquidity they highly levered hai with risky and illiquid assets liabilities are exposed to bank runs focus kya hai on this chapter kya focus hai shadow banking mein hum hfc pe focus karenge retail nbfc pe on ldmf pe theek hai na nbfc lightly regulated hai traditional banking system jo hai hamara public sector and private sector ye kafi acche se regulated hai nbfc kafi evolve ho chuka hai ab prudential norms hain discouraging deposit taking by nbfcs uh, encouraging the entry of non deposit taking nbfcs in 2006 so in dono ne jab rbi ne jab regulation thodi strong ki na to steady decline ho gaya the share of deposits and increase in wholesale funding in the funding source of nbfc ab wholesale funding aas hoti hai bank se hoti hai through loans or rest through non convertible debentures commercial papers then debt mutual funds using non convertible debentures again and commercial paper so ye created a problem right this has pushed the shadow banking system in a certain direction so uh, kya issue aaya so there is a conceptual framework or role of risk right so a financial institutions rely on short term financing to fund long term investments this reliance on short term funding causes asset liability management problem राइट बिकॉज आप करें मैंने आप मुझे सौ करोड़ तो है मेरे पास बट मुझे रिटर्न करने हैं लेट से वन ईयर में बट यहाँ पे इस तरफ क्या है मैंने आपको पांच साल छह साल आठ साल के लिए लोन दे रखा है इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर रिलेटेड कई बार तो पच्चीस साल का दे रखा है सो आई एम नॉट एबल टू गिव मनी फॉर दिस सो अब मैं नॉर्मली क्या गुड टाइम चल रहा है तो आई रेज कैपिटल इन शॉर्ट टर्म वन टू थ्री मंथ कमर्शियल पेपर थोड़ा हायर इंटरेस्ट पे कर लेता हूँ कंपेयर टू लॉन्ग टर्म नॉन कमर्टेबल मार्केट में बट रोल ओवर रिस्क है फ्रीक्वेंट रीप्राइसिंग है एनबीएफसी का में कई बार क्या होता है आपको बहुत हाई फाइनेंसिंग कॉस्ट लग जाती है सो आपको क्या करना पड़ेगा क्रेडिट राशनिंग करनी पड़ सकती है रीफाइनेंसिंग रिस्क इसी रीफाइनेंसिंग को रोल ओवर रिस्क बोलते हैं सो दिस कैन बी अ क्वेश्चन प्रीलिम्स में कि रोल ओवर रिस्क किस सेक्टर से रिलेटेड है एंड द आंसर इज एनबीएफसी सेक्टर so when an asset uh, side shock reduces expected future cash flows it adversely affects the alm problem in bfcs ldm sector is a primary source of the short term wholesale funds in mdfc second risk obviously interconnectedness hai nbfc aur ldm sector pe so jo hamara jo debt mutual funds hai na usse kafi farak padta hai nbfc ka third kya hai uh, stem risk kya hai hamara inherent resilience of the nbfc strength of the balance sheet बेसिकली नॉर्मली तो ये हम यू नो जो स्ट्रेंथ है हमारी एनबीएफसी की वो कर लेगी बट एट द फंडामेंटल लेवल रूट कॉज ऑफ द एनबीएफसी सेक्टर कैन बी ट्रेस टू द ओवर इंडिपेंडेंस ऑफ द एनबीएफसी ऑन द शॉर्ट टर्म होलसेल 
फंडिंग्स मार्केट तो ये इंपॉर्टेंट है राइट right? ये चीज आप याद कर लो कि एनबीएफसी क्राइसिस क्यों हुआ है लिक्विडिटी क्राइसिस एनबीएफसी शॉर्ट टर्म होलसेल फंडिंग में फोकस था रोल ओवर रिस्क सिस्टमेटिक हो गया है दिस डायग्राम एंड दिस डायग्राम आई थिंक यू शुड प्रैक्टिस दिस वुड बी वेरी यूजफुल इन केस अ क्वेश्चन ऑन इन योर मेंस कम्स सो एसेट साइड शॉक लीड्स टू राइजिंग डिफॉल्ट्स इस एसेट लायबिलिटी मिसमैच हो गया एनबीएफसी में फाइनेंशियल ऑपरेटिंग रिसिलिएंस है लेकिन इंटरकनेक्टेडनेस रिस्क है बिकॉज़ एलडीएफ सेक्टर इन्वेस्ट कर रहा है उसी को पैसे देने हैं तो रिडेंशन रिस्क आ गया सो ऑटोमेटिकली रोल ओवर रिस्क हो गया राइट डिफरेंस क्या एच एफ सी में और रिटेल एन बी एफ सी में दो सब सेक्टर्स के लिए एनालिसिस किया जाएगा इसमें हमारा तो लार्जेस्ट एच एफ सी है हाउसिंग फाइनेंस ये कर रहे हैं एट पॉइंट सिक्स लाख करोड़ का इनका वो है इनको एनालाइज कर, कर रहे हैं ये इकोनॉमिक सब का चैप्टर टू एनालाइज द रिटेल एन बी एफ सी फिफ्टीन प्राइवेट एन बी एफ सी इन द रिटेल क्रेडिट सेगमेंट सो ये कौन देते हैं ये लोन देते हैं जैसे बजाज फाइनेंस है ये सब ठीक है ना वो भी बेसिकली आप उनको एन बी एफ सी मान सकते हैं रिटेल एन बी एफ सी so bajaj finservs ye sab theek hai na right so these 15 nbfc are asset under uh, management of 6.8 lakh crore right or right 9.1 hai psu mein so obviously they are doing a lot of uh, the economy in some ways so agar ye chale jaye to automatically huge problem aa jayegi economy mein so first hfc uh, hold much longer duration assets housing loans development loans and retail nbfc medium term mein auto hai consumer loans hai gold hai right as you let's say maine refrigerator lena hai fridge lena है तो बिजार फाइनेंस आपको लोन देता है सो एच एफ सी का बिग ग्रेटर गैप है बिटवीन एवरेज मेच्योरिटी ऑफ द एसेट एंड लाइबिलिटी रिटेल एन बी एफ सी फिर भी शॉर्ट ड्यूरेशन के लिए देती है तो ऑटोमेटिक काम चल जाता है ठीक है ना रैबो बैंक इज वन ऑफ एन बी एफ सी तो कमर्शियल आप जो लोन देते हो गोल्ड लोन देते हो तो उसका फिर भी एसेट साइज ठीक है तो द एसेट साइड शॉक कॉज सिग्निफिकेंट ड्यूरिटेशन इन द एसेट लाइबिलिटी एच एफ सी बट लेस इम्पैक्ट ऑफ रिटेल एन बी एफ सी में लेकिन दैट इज द बेसिक आइडिया सो दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू नोट कि इन दोनों में डिफरेंस है रिटेल एन बी एफ सी में हाउसिंग फाइनेंस वाले में सेकंड रिटेल एन बी एफ सी रिलाय ऑन शॉर्ट टर्म होलसेल फंडिंग एज कम्पेयर टू एन बी एफ सी बिकॉज मुझे लगता है यार मुझे पैसे आ जाएंगे तो आई एम राइट एक्सपोज टू इंटर कनेक्टेड रिस्क नहीं है एच एफ सी में क्या है इनकोनेक्टेड रिस्क कम है रिटेल एन बी एफ सी में ज्यादा है क्यों क्योंकि रिटेल एन बी एफ सी को लगता है कि यार डेट फंड से ही पैसे ले लो सो लिक्विड जो डेट फंड है यही इन्वेस्ट कर रहे हैं और इन्हीं को पैसा देना है सो ऑटोमेटिकली इसको ये प्रॉब्लम राइट अगर इन्होंने बैंक रन किया तो पैसा देगा कौन मुझे बिकॉज मैं उसी बंदे से ले रहा हूँ राइट सो दैट इज अज प्रॉब्लम सो लुक एट द योर ऑन योर डिपेंडेंस ऑन द एल डी एम सेक्टर लुक एट हाउ the top hfcs have increased to the lvm sector so this basically was a problem right right because aap kaise aap ldm sector pe itna rely kar sakte hain and this happened in 17 18 that tells you some what is happening the public sector banks and other place, other people are not investing in you anymore so um, what is the risk from this asset li- uh, liability mismatch the risk arises in most financial situations due to the duration of asset and liability humne baat kar li hai liability is shorter duration ki assets longer duration ke loans especially in the housing sector ho sakta hai 10 saal ka loan ho 15 saal ka ho 20 ka bhi ho sakta hai 25 ka this imp- uh, mismatch implies that an nbfc must maintain a minimum amount of cash or a cash equivalent asset to meet its short term obligations right alm risk is more problematic for hfc based on a quarter to quarter composition of trends in alm for hfc and retail nbfc and the role over risk stemming from alm is matches therefore lower for retail nbfc so we have talked about this before theek hai na to risk from interconnectedness kya hai ye hai ki transmission kaise hoga theek hai na between an nbfc and ldm sector so first ldm sector on average holds concentrated positions in the cps of a specific stress in nbfc so isse kya hota hai greater redemption risk ho jata hai from their own investors who feel if it default hoga to wo paisa nikalenge mutual fund se right agar nbfc mein role mein second ldm is subject to risk run redemption risk from investors if cash holdings do not account for extreme tail events so agar mere paas paise nahi hai to mutual fund mein agar maine main aa gaya mutual fund mein mujhe paise wapas karo so how would i do so agar maine paise nbfc mein laga rakhe so reliance on short term wholesale funding it is argued that the uh, fundamental factor that influences role over risk can be traced to the over dependence on the nbf sector in the short term wholesale funding so basically greater role over risk hai internet connected risk hai obviously short term funding increase ho jayegi commercial paper pehle kam hota tha ab increase ho gaya we looked at this data in the images before hfc sector less exposed hai must recognize that longer duration asset lower 5 to 6% hai but alm uh, you know interconnected risk ka nahi nahi hai alm risk hai but 
इंटरप्रेक्टर्स नहीं है इन द एच एफ सी सेक्टर राइट ओके इन कॉन्ट्रास्ट रिटेल एन बी एफ सी इज हाई एक्सपोजर है टू शॉर्ट टर्म होल्डिंग फंडिंग विच मीस इंटरकोनेक्टेडनेस रिस्क हायर ठीक है ना विदाउट कॉजिंग ए एल एम प्रॉब्लम लार्ज रिटेल एन बी एफ सी ऑब्वियसली हैंडल कर लेंगे ये ये सेम प्रॉब्लम हो रही है लाइक सो आई टॉकिंग आशीष गुप्ता क्रेड्स वेज ही वॉज टॉकिंग विद द फैक्ट दैट ही सेड दैट कि एन बी एफ सी हैव बिन डिवाइड इन गुड एंड बैड जो गुड है उसको पैसा मिल रहा है जो उनको लग रहा है कि बैड है वो बंद हो रहे वाले so that is a problem so this is uh, the role of semantics given for the retail nbfcs and the right so we um, they talked about ki kya you know operating resilience kaun kin ki theek rahegi so car kis level se upar hai short term liquidity asset liquidity provisioning policy short term volatile capital in sab ko dekha jayega and uske numbers ke hisab se decide kiya jayega whether there is a risk or not राइट बट इंटरकोनेक्टेडनेस सिस्टमिक रिस्क थोड़ा कम है इन सर्टेन एरियाज इन रिटेल एन बी एफ सी लार्ज में तो कम ही है ऑब्वियसली ओके वॉट आर द की मेट्रिक्स विच आई बिन लुक फॉर मेजरिंग दिल्थ कोर नाउ हेल्थ कोर में ये छह चीजें देखी जा रही है एच एफ सी में ए एल एम प्रोफाइल डिफरेंस इन एसेट एंड लाइबिलिटीज नॉर्मलाइज बेटोल एसेट्स शॉर्ट टर्म बुलेट लाइल कैपिटल कितना सी पी है ओवरऑल हमारे एसेट में एसेट क्वालिटी क्या है कितना रिटेल लोन आ रहा है लोन प्रोफोर्ट राइट शॉर्ट टर्म लिक्विडिटी कितना हमारा पैस कैश कितना पड़ा है प्रोविजनिंग पॉलिसी कितना है राइट हमने कितना रखा हुआ है कैश एड डिग्री रेशो टायर वन टायर टू कैपिटल कितना है हमारा परसेंटेज ऑफ रिस्क वेटेड एसेट्स ऑब्वियसली यू माइट नॉट नो दिस दीज आर ऑब्वियसली टर्म्स विच आर मे बी मोर इंटरेस्टिंग टू अ पर्सन हुज इन सी ए शेप और एज अ डिफरेंट ऑप्शनल देन यू माइट है सो ये अगेन राइट एल डी एम एक्सपोजर टू सी पी लिक्विडिटी बफर शॉर्ट टर्म वोलेटाइल कैपिटल ऑपरेटिंग एक्सपेंस दिस इज इवन मोर इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर रिटेल एन बी एफ सी सो इन अदर ये डिफरेंस है इन दोनों में शॉर्ट टर्म लिक्विडिटी अगेन से बाकी सब सेम है तो डायग्नोस्टिक आपको क्या करना चाहिए तो मेथोडोलॉजी निकाली है जो हमने राइट वी हैव ऑलरेडी टॉक्ड अबाउट 15 एनबीएफसी थ्री साइज ग्रुप में उनमें हमने चेक आउट किया राइट इट वाज फाउंड दैट द एचएफसी सेक्टर राइट एग्जिबिटेड अ डिक्लाइनिंग ट्रेंड पोस्ट 2014 राइट द हेल्थ ऑफ द ओवरऑल सेक्टर हैज कंसीडरेबली वर्सेंड एंड द हेल्थ स्कोर ऑफ द रिटेल एनबीएफ सेक्टर इज कंसिस्टेंटली ब्लू बिलो पार फॉर द पीरियड ऑफ 2014 टू 19 लार्ज रिटेल एनबीएफसीज का बेटर हेल्थ स्कोर है बट स्मॉल एंड मीडियम रिटेल जो एनबीएफसीज है उनका स्कोर कार्ड अच्छा नहीं है सो so, 2014 से ये प्रॉब्लम चल रही है इन सब वेस ओके सो लुक एट राइट फ्रॉम 2014 राइट द एनबीएफसी इज गोइंग बैड एंड बैड व्हाट इज द रीजन फॉर दैट ऑब्वियसली एनबीएफसीज यू नो ऑब्वियसली हैव बीन स्टार्टिंग टू फंड अ लॉट ऑफ Uh, you know uh, loans after demortization which are they were not really supposed to do right D- due to demortization real estate totally looked for them and nbfc crisis caused demortization in some ways people say right but people are saying no 2014 se chal raha hai to ye to maybe purani baat hai right then average health score of large nbfc is kafi acha hai blue mein dekhiye medium or small ke kafi bura hai so based on the relative contribution to rollover risk the key drivers of rollover risk are combined in hfc composite measure pe focus kiya gaya kisme alm risk likha humne financial and operating resilience dekha usme dekha to hame laga ki rollover risk ka kafi hai then humne small and retail mein dekha to again same issue hai right so figure 17 shows that the size is always not inversely to the rollover risk exposure throughout the period it was evident on an average that small size retail nbfc is kept higher health scores than the medium size ones hence targeting liquidity and enhancement based on size was a sub optimal so aap ye nahi soch sakte ki large nbfc ko de do medium and retail ko na do right so is that so policy implications so for the above analysis suggests that the nbfc sector is susceptible to roll over risk when they rely too much on the short term wholesale funding market for financing their investment in the real estate sector and the right so further policy initiatives up le sakte ho to ab kya karna chahiye uh, regulators can employ the health core methodology right uh, which right so regulators can employ the health score methodology presented in the analysis to detect early warning signs of impending rollover risk in the mutual nbfcs down trends in health score can be used to trigger greater monitoring of nbfc first with a drier crunch um, you know regulators can use the health score as optimally detect you know detecting and directing capital infusions to reserving nbfcs to reduce have efficient allocation of scarce capital how that happen is again very debatable above uh, analysis can be used for set prudential thresholds on the extent of wholesale funding that can be permitted for funds in the shadow banking sector 
right so just to revise uh, the current chapter is motivated by the credit uh, risk the crunch liquidity crunch in the nbf sector uh, we look at the ro drivers of rollover risk so what are the drivers lm risk interconnected risk financial risk, and operating risk of a nbfc problem kya short term wholesale funding hai ye exacerbate kare rollover risk ko right right so humne kya kiya roller risk quantify kiya sample of hfc and retail nbfc ko humne dekha ki health score of hfc sector decline ho raha hai 2014 se ab 2019 mein to bahut hi kharab ho chuka hai is saal aur bura hoga corona virus ki wajah se health score of retail nbfc large ke liye fir bhi theek hai medium unka na acha nahi hai so idea kya hai ki health score provides a early warning signal of impending liquidity problems to kya kiya jaye hum focus kare of using it as a dynamic indicator and isme hum shadow banking sector ko bhi focus kare revive kare right uh, let's see this year kya hoga but you know because of corona virus and bfc sector is going to get hit a lot lot more right uh, thank you for listening do subscribe like our channel if you have doubts do ask uh, i think a lot of you might need to read a chapter on nbfcs before you go into it i've tried to explain bajaj using a bajaj finserve example uh right if you have any more questions uh please feel feel free to comment thank you so much